Hi, this is artist Tara Reed, and I wanted to talk to you a little bit about the contact sheet feature that is in Photoshop. I first heard about this when I was doing an ask call with art licensing agent Suzanne Cruz, and she mentioned using the contact sheet feature in Photoshop to put together um, images and mock-ups to send to manufacturers. So I promised everyone on the call that I would look into it, and I have, so here's what I found. Um, the screen that you're seeing right now is Photoshop CS4, and to use Contact Sheet in there, you do have to go download the plugin, and I will have a link to that on the blog and also on the description of the YouTube video. But I did download it, and it's located in the same place in CS3. So you go to the top and you hit File, come down to Automate, and then choose Contact Sheet 2. There's some pluses and minuses to this. Um, you really need to have a good understanding of what you want to put, you know, have your folders organized. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to choose Wine Cellar. And I have four square images. And this contact sheet works really well when you have consistently sized images. Now I'm going to put them into a 7x7 seven seven square. You can choose the size of the document that it goes into. Um, I chose flatten all layers just so the file won't be too big. Then it for the thumbnails, it tells you, you know, you can choose place across first or down first, auto spacing. Now I know that I have four squares, so I need two columns and two rows, and it'll show you over here exactly how that's going to lay out. So if I changed it to five, you'd see it was going to be little rectangles, which wasn't going to work. So we're going to do two by two. Then you can choose to use the file name as the caption or you can uncheck that if you just want your images pulled. The only bummer about this is they give you a choice of three whole um, fonts, none of which are the ones I like to use the most, but we'll just leave the file name in there and I'm gonna show you how easy it is. So now we've chosen the folder where I put the four images that I wanna to show to a certain client. I click OK and I sit back and it does some stuff and I just have to watch it do its work. And this would be instead of me opening each of these files individually, copying them, pasting them onto something, and sizing them myself. So this definitely does automate the process. You just have to have an understanding of how it works and how to set up your folders and set up the contact sheet dimensions. So see, while I just sat and talked to you, it created this great square and it has the names underneath it. And we could have had these or skipped them. So now what I'm going to do is, um, I work on a Mac, so Apple or a PC, I guess, is Control-A, which is the same as going up to here and select all, copy, and then I create um, marketing, basically a framework that I always show art in. So it has the logo, my logo, my copyright and contact information, and I'm just going to paste that contact sheet on there. And then I can size it with the transform so that it fills the space nicely and it's done. Uh, I did some experimenting before doing this video and one thing that I did find is it doesn't work really well if your images aren't of consistent size. These are some borders that I pulled from another collection and you'll see that I set them up in different sizes. These swirls I think were set up as six inches wide whereas um, these olive branches and these were set up as 12 inches wide and so it just kind of willy nilly it. But you'll notice they over here in the layers, they're all on one layer. So what I could do is, um, you know, take that, delete it, control X, and then paste it. And then I could control J or go over here and make a duplicate layer. And as you see, they're set up in repeat. So if I just smoosh them over there, they, they line up perfectly. And so I could use the contact sheet so that I don't have to open each file, but then I would still have to do a little bit of work to manipulate them unless I get really consistent about, you know, always doing 12 inch wide borders, etc. So that's just one other thing. Now let's do one other. So file, automate, contact sheet. And this time I'm going to choose some floral patterns. I have nine patterns in here. I want it to be seven by seven. So if I have nine, I need three rows by three columns. I'm going to use the file names 
I'm going to make them a little bit smaller. Eight point. Try a different font. See what that looks like. And this time, when I saved my um, repeat patterns, I saved them the file name as the code that I put to the art. Remember, you want to code your art so people don't have to explain. I like the one with the flowers and this color stripe and that color stripe. They can just say, "I like this code." And I will link, um, put a link to the blog that I did about how I created a code system. But you can pretty much make up whatever you want. So now instead of having to open the pattern file and place each of the patterns or open each of the pattern file, pattern, um, what am I trying to say? Yeah, opening the pattern files or the pattern collection in the preset manager, I can just throw them in this folder and it's going to do it all for me and it's going to flatten it and put it in one thing. So I definitely think I will start using it to at least do the repeat patterns because most of those are pretty big. I do them 12 by 12 or 24 by 24. So to open them, flatten them, and then size them to go nine onto an eight and a half by 11 sheet takes a little bit of time. Okay, just disregard the phone. You'll see it takes a little bit longer to do this size of images and this number. The four squares for the wine cellar went a lot faster. But if I wasn't making a video, I could have taken that phone call and chatted while Photoshop did all this work for me. And poof, there it is. So now you'll see I have nine repeat patterns perfectly spaced with their code right underneath them. So now I just select all, copy paste them onto the framework for this collection, size it so it fills the space, and voila, it is done. Totally awesome. All right, I hope that is helpful, and I hope you find ways to use that because uh, this is the year of working smarter and not harder, so any little way that you can find to automate your work and automate your presentations means you're going to have more time for your art. This is artist Tara Reed signing off.